Hello everyone, I hope you are all in good health and well. Still with me Party Rosiet on the Pero Cement Techno channel. On this occasion I will explain about the clinker cooling system, the type of CFG cooler or control flow grate cooler, which is used in the clinker production process in the cement plant. What is the difference between conventional graded clinker cooler and CFG clinker cooler? The difference is in the air supply to the grate plate and the air supply to the clinker cooling chamber. For conventional grate coolers, the air flow from the cooling fan enters the air chamber under the grate plate, then the air passes through the grate plate holes directly into the cooling chamber. The disadvantage is that when the hole in the grate plate is getting bigger, a lot of clinker dust will fall into the hopper, especially when the kiln operation is dusty or flashing. Next, the type of CFG cooler. The air flow from the cooling fan flows through the static channel and the moving channel. Then the air enters the grate plate cavity and goes to the cooling chamber. For more details can be seen in the following image. Before we continue this discussion, have you subscribed? Please press the logo on the right below. And subscribe so that this channel continues to grow. Working Principle of CFG or Control Air Flow Grate Cooler Cooling air flows through the channel from the cooling fan, which is divided into two stationary and moving channels. Then the air is channeled through the beam grate plate, meanwhile, the air sealing under the grate plate uses a separate cooling fan. Works by improving the distribution of air in the channel that connects the rows of grate plates directly. With this system, the support beam grate is used as a conduit for cooling air to the grate plate and into the clinker layer. Air ducts pass through the beam grate plate, allowing clinker dust to enter the hopper through the holes on the grate plate surface. The space under the grate plate is fitted with a sealing air fan, whose function is to anticipate the leakage of clinker dust from the gap between the grate plates. This is a sample image of the CFG cooler air duct. It can be seen in the figure that, the rows of grating plates are stationary and the rows of grate plates are moving using separate air ducts. To supply cooling air to the movable grate plate, use a flexible joint pipe that allows it to move freely without obstacles. And the air duct to the satis grate plate is connected directly through the air duct to the beam grate plate. This is an example of a conventional grate plate type grate plate and a CFG type grate plate. The physical difference is, that the conventional grate plate is thin and small holes 6 mm in diameter penetrate directly into the surface of the plate, while the CFG type plate is thicker and has a cavity in it to circulate cooling air. Conventional grate plate type, cooling air flows directly to the surface of the grate plate. Then, for CFG grate plates there are several types, as shown in this picture, cooling air flows through the cavity of the plate to the surface of the grate plate. This is an example of a CFG grate cooler animation and grate plate movement. There are several right and left cooling fans installed in each room, because the air ducts on the beam grate are divided into two right and left, fan codes R and L. Especially for room 1 and room 2, the air duct is divided into three parts, right, left and center, fan code R, L and C. And in each room a ceiling air fan is installed, fan code S.
Next, what is a crossbar cooler and how does it work? For an explanation of the crossbar cooler, please follow the next video. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video to your friends who need it. And see you in the next video.